All right, first and foremost, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Wadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and who is worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace and salutations to your brothers out there pushing this truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for love of the gospel. All right, it's the brother Gabaria from the Indiana camp. Come back at you again with another sit down to basically uh, talk about the love of many shall wax cold. All right, so without further ado, I'm just going to go straight into the scriptures. This is uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 12. In fact, I'm gonna start from um, I'm gonna start from nine. It says, "Then shall they deliver you up to the to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake, and they shall and they shall be many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another, and many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many, and because it says, and because iniquity shall abound." The love of many shall wax cold. See, so the love of many people is going to uh, uh, trade on one another, man. In the book of uh, Second Ezra, it says, uh, "What a uh, uh, neighbor shall fight against a uh, uh, neighbor shall fight one another like enemies." Which I'm going to get that, but it says, um, "It says, but the love of many shall wax cold, man." Now, the perfect movie I can show, I can, I can, I can think about to give you brothers an example of what uh, uh, the love of many shall wax cold. The, the, the best movie I can think of is. Um, is the uh, is, is the movie the Belko experiment? All right, I remember watching that movie when it came out. It was called the the Belko experiment, where they set up a business. It was like a U.S. business got set up in um uh uh, uh, uh what's it called um in Brazil, I believe, and they had hired like maybe three hundred U.S. people to go down and work there, and um and they had they had natives people that worked there too, you know, but. On this specific, on a one Pacific day, they told all the native people, the people of that land, to go home, and only the U.S. workers was in that um was in the building. And I think it was up for a year, I believe. They all got um they all got uh devices put in the back of their heads. Uh, they taught they said it was an um a tracker just in case they got kidnapped or anything like that. But it really was an explosive device. All right, so they can kill them um instantly. All right, and what happened was when um. When it was uh, uh when they uh basically on this specific day they they shut down the whole entire building it was a it was a skyscraper they shut the, the, the whole entire building down and um uh, uh they it was a little microphone and told them to kill one person or they're gonna kill five people all right so they thinking it was a joke and everything you know of course in every horror movie they're gonna do you know everybody's gonna think it's a joke so they're not gonna um do it until people start dying so you know um. Um. Uh, okay. Yeah. They they waited and then they gave him a time limit. They gave him. I think they gave him an hour. And then after an hour, uh, after an hour, it wasn't. Um, after an hour passed by, they actually killed five people. All right. The explosive in their in their head went off and killed five people in the back of their head. All right. And then after that, people started to get worried. People started to panic. All right. So, uh, 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 after that goes on, they told them to kill ten people. Or they're gonna kill twenty people. All right. So and then people uh, after people started fearing for their lives. They actually start ex exiling one another, man. Where until the end of the movie, was when there was only a, a handful amount of people left, you had uh, people that was friends at the beginning of the movies, you know, killing each other, you know. And then it was actually a scene in the movie where the lady said, um, she, you know, she seen two, she seen two guys walk in there, and when like something happened, and she when she came back to the room, all she seen was one guy walk out with a bloody instrument in his hand. And, you know, and he and she was like, and she said, she said, you just killed your best friend. You guys ate lunch together every single day. She said, how could you do that? You know, and I think that I, I even I, it's been a minute since I watched it. But I even I, I, I want to say, I think the dude, I think the dude even said it was his life or mine's. All right. So it just shows you like the people out here is going to get a, the Lord's going to put a cold spirit on people, man. All right. People's not going to have that warm, tender, loving spirit. People's not going to have that. Oh, well, he's crippled. Oh, well, he's such and such. Oh, well, it's either going to be their life or mine, man. All right. So they're going to they're going to uh, uh, um, they're going to uh, uh, choose their life, man. All right. Just imagine family members doing this, man. Family members, brothers and sisters, mothers, daughters, you know, people, people is going to eat their own children. All right. So the love of many is it's going to get cold out here, man. And they're not going to. um. How can I say they're not gonna uh, 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 have that, that 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 warm fuzzy feeling for that loved one no more, man? All right, they're gonna put that loved one to death. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. In, um, oh, so it was in a box. I want to say that second as is 15 or 16. It's one of them. I'm gonna try 15 first.
Bear with me, Akim. It's probably 16. Somewhere around here, somewhere. So it'd be all my people was a sword to charge. So this is actually good right here. Hold on, let me see. Does it go into it then? Yeah, so it would be right here. Okay, so we got a dozen, but I'm gonna read this and I'm gonna, then I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna just look it up. Um. Here, this is um, this is a second Ezra chapter fifteen verse sixteen. It says, "For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor prince." It says, "In in the in the in the in the council of in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall not desire to a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able." For because of the because of their pride of the city shall be troubled, house, houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall not have pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their house with the sword and spoil their goods because a lack of bread and for the great tribulation. Behold, saith the Lord, I will call all the kings. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to that one point back in 19. It says a man shall not have no pity on his neighbor because it says. It says, uh, but it says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil the goods because the lack of bread of lack of bread and and for tribulation, man. So see, it's going to uh, it's going to be a lot of uh, death, death and destruction, man. And and, and and the reason why it says neighbor, because neighbors are supposed to be neighborly, man. That's why I thought they get that saying, oh, well, I come on, be neighborly, man. You're supposed to look kind of look out for your neighbor because he's the person that you see every day. He's ever since you walk outside your um your door he you know he's the person that you see you know you're supposed to be neighborly you're supposed to be all happy and joy you're supposed to be he's basically supposed to be your friend all right your neighbor really goes into that word friend okay but you're gonna look at this guy and you're gonna uh you're gonna try to kill him all right i'm gonna look up that one Is the second Ezra is it says in one shall undertake to fight against another and it's, it's 13 Wait, no it's not it here it is it was six okay got high it says um this is a second Ezra six and twenty twenty I'm trying to see where I want to start I'll start from twenty four I just get straight to the point uh, this is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 24 it says at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth and the earth shall stand in fear with with those that dwell therein the spring of fountains shall stand still in three hours they shall not run whosoever remain from all these all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of the world and the men of and the men that receive and the men that receive shall see it who have not tasted death from their birth and the heart of the inhabitations shall be changed and turned into an and turn and turned into another meaning all right see so i want to go back to that one point in 24 it says what friends at this time friends shall fight against another like enemies man so you can actually have in you actually having friends kill each other like there was enemies man what you gonna you gonna you gonna try to do the most horrific thing possible you can think of to your enemy, and you gonna have people that's friends doing that, man. Not a, a quick, not a quick death. Not a oh this since this is my friend, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put him to death and such such so they don't have to suffer. No, you gonna have people torturing their friends, torturing their friends. You know, stealing all what their friends has, man. The clothes off their back. I won't be surprised if you see naked bodies out here, man, because their clothes got messed up or their clothes are dirty or their clothes are such 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 such, man. Because clothes is clothes is even gonna be a uh, 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 a necessity out there, man. 
Just imagine a person. Just imagine if it's cold outside and this person has a jacket, man. All right, that jacket's gonna be worth some 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 money. All right, or worth value, I should say. All right. So yeah, man. Uh, 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 um, what's it say? Um, clothes is gonna be worth value at that at that time too, man. All right. So a person have a jacket, has some some, some nice boots, you know, some thick pants, and you and you and you look around his size, man. Yeah, he's gonna take that. All right. So yeah, clothes is even is gonna be worth value uh, in, in that time, man. You know, friends is gonna fight against one another like they they like they were uh, uh, like they was never friends at all, man. All right. So yeah, man, that's basically all I want to say, man. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yasha, Bashim Kakadash, and Lord. I hope this video is edifying for you, hopeful brothers out there, and you um and you elect and you and, and the hopeful elect. All right, what's that, Shalom?